I'm not seeing the Honorable Semuju Nganda. We, we have an unfinished business. Uh, 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 we have an unfinished business. Uh, but we talk today. We talk today afternoon. And he seems to be still stuck somewhere. Also following up on parliamentary business uh, to do with the private member's bill, which Honorable Nseriko uh, uh, moved. But, uh, Honorable colleagues, when you become very specific on certain matters, then it is very important for our record to show that the statement you made in this House was backed up by evidence. Uh, so, uh, Honorable Semuju is not able to be with us uh, here. Uh, his statement, I have received very many calls with regard to the same and uh, disputing also what he said. So, for now, until he brings that evidence and he tables that matter, in, through the very many forums we have as members of parliament, I order the clerk to expand uh, his statements yesterday from the record of parliament in as far as Kanyadieru uh, Senior Secondary School is concerned. Specifically saying that His Excellency the President whether owns or has been supporting is it Kanyarieru Secondary School and paying 700,000 per child in that school. Right Honorable Speaker, this is a house of record. And the statement is made, the proceedings are live. Please, I'm on procedure. The proceedings are live. Proceedings have been captured. And right, Honorable Speaker, the member was asked, the Honorable Semuju said he had evidence. And right, Honorable Speaker, if he has evidence and he's not in the House today, right, Honorable Speaker, wouldn't we, would it not be procedural right to demand that the Honorable Semuju lays his statement here? So th rather than expanding first, rather than expanding, right, Honorable Speaker, because, yes, when we, this is the House of, if we continue expanding statements, instead of asking members to substantiate and maybe even apologize, because for him to say the head of state pays 700,000 to a student in a particular school, when our children are being paid capitation grant of 10,000 per term, right, Honorable Speaker, would it not be procedural right that this statement remains on record? until Tuesday when the Honorable Semuju will appear in this house with his evidence, and then we can proceed and expand, but also demand for an apology from him, right, Honorable Speaker. So would it not be procedural right that Thank this you. matter remains on the record of this parliament? Th Thank you. I can understand uh, where you're coming from, but two things. Number one, I've already ruled Okay, I've already ruled on the matter. And uh, in case one is not satisfied with my ruling, Rule 87 of our Rules of Procedure provides for how to challenge the, the speaker's ruling. But number two, I talked to Honorable Semuju today afternoon. Okay? Yes. And uh, uh, he told me it was raised by a certain former woman MP for Metiana. So I helped him in getting a record, I said I promised that we shall cooperate. So, <laughs> so I told him, sir, I can't do research for you on, on this matter. So if you do, I'm going to expand it from your record. And the moment I expand it, if you want to reinstate it, then you will bring evidence and you table the matter here. But I felt it was a matter of which didn't need to, to spend another night on our record books. Okay. Uh, through a point of procedure, through any other means, a member can demand a uh, Honorable Semuju to resign, uh, to, to, do, to apologize next week if he comes. If a member so wishes, okay? And whoever will be a presiding officer will guide uh, at that time, okay? But what is very, very important, Honorable colleagues, is when I'm doing things here, I don't do them for the camera. I do them for the record. This record is going to be, and, and, uh, and uh, 
And uh, that's the pressure I usually get from you, Honorable colleague. Most of you want to speak between 2 and 4 p.m. when the media is still alive and hot and... Uh, eh? you, you get it? And if we are to run the house that way, then we shall be, instead of presenting and presenting in plenary, we shall be addressing press conferences, using parliament to address press conferences, which is uh, not the right thing to do. Yeah, for now.